This is the Cool Robot project. In front of us is the Cool Robot chassis. On top goes five solar panels because it's solar powered and also self-powering. One interesting feature about this robot is how light it is, which really helps it get around on the snow. The way we've got this thing constructed works out pretty well and keeps the weight down. The photovoltaic panels that usually uh, sit around the robot and on the top brings power in through the power system, which starts at the boost converters here. We like to keep the batteries pretty charged in case the sun stops shining as much with clouds in the way or whatnot, so the robot can run as long as possible. These two boards here, they run the power system and control the robot's functions, driving and waypoint following. To navigate, we've got the four motors around that motivate the vehicle, which are then controlled by our rabbit net control board and guided by our GPS system here. Basically, it's able to go from one waypoint to the next using this and our wonderful antenna. This thing is ridiculously accurate, so it's really good at finding itself. The broader scope of this project is creating a vehicle for remote data collection for various scientific instruments, mostly in atmospherics, in remote areas of Greenland and Antarctica. My focus is advancing uh, robotics in polar regions, which is why I was extremely attracted to this program here at the Thayer School. The deployment this summer, we'll be working on getting some atmospheric data to see how far particulates can spread from the point of generation in terms of the plume off of the generator. The project was started in 2003, actually. It's the first robot of its kind. So I'm just here to improve what mechanical systems the cool robot has, discover more about light vehicles on snow, and improve the electronics and any computer systems as well.